Hello Dragon Artists and welcome back to the Draw Jeju series in the Dragon Art Room. This week we have had more community members submit photos for our artwork and we're going to have the opportunity to guess who and try to match the artwork and the photograph with the community member. There's also the opportunity for you to photobomb and create a selfie to add on to the Jeju landscapes that you have made and the one that you're going to make this week. So check that video out too. All right, let's get started. Hello, Dragon Artists. Today we are going to draw this wonderful picture of the Jeju Henyo statue on the beach. I'm going to start uh, with my paper in a portrait or vertical position, and I'm gonna make some basic marks. Uh, that's where I want my statue to go, the top and the bottom part of my statue. And that is where that line I just drew across is my horizon line. Now where I'm going to draw my statue, that's going to be the top of the head and the bottom of the feet. I'm drawing a line in the middle, so I'm splitting it in four sections. Now after that, I switch over to marker, but I encourage you to continue drawing with a pencil so that way you can go back and fix any mistakes that you make. Now the first part we're going to draw is the head. Now as I'm drawing, I'm going to uh, use the statue as inspiration, but I encourage you to be as creative as you'd like. Maybe you want to draw a picture of your mother as the Henyo diver. Mother's Day is uh, this coming Sunday, so this would be a great opportunity for you to make a beautiful picture for your mom. Now. Uh, as I'm going through, I've just drawn the goggles and then I'm going to draw the wetsuit of the, the Jeju Diver. Now I'm going to draw the top of her shirt and I'm using a curved line to help give me space. And those lines that you see there um, are just guidelines for me uh, to help me stay within proportion. So the first portion of the four parts that we built out is going to be for the head and then two of those are going to be the the next two portions of that are going to be for some of the Henyo's tools and if you look at our um, the presentation that Mr. Scott shared you can learn all about these Henyo tools and some of the nets and the different buoys that they use and I'm adding a simple net design on there, again, getting inspiration from the statue, but you can personalize this as much as you want. Some of the tools that the Henyo carries, it would be really fun for you to maybe even switch those up and make those some of the tools that you use or maybe the ones that your mother uses, some of the uh, things that you use in your everyday life. Now these are going to be just some simple shadow lines to go through. Now the next part is going to be a little bit challenging. So I'm going to draw that rope going across and then I'm going to draw those four oval fingers just like we did on the Jeju selfie. Um, and I'm going that's the Henyo's arm going down so it looks as though she's carrying the tools. So she has her arm bent and she's carrying the tools. But you can change it up as much as you'd like. Then I'm drawing some simple lines for her torso. And now her other hand, I'm drawing with nothing in it. But you can also draw her hand with something in it. Maybe she's holding another uh, one of personal item that you have that you might want to represent in the picture. Now the bottom portion of the body is going to be just uh, the top part of the legs because the bottom part of the legs are going to be covered in the rocks. Now the rocks are stacked up uh, and I'm going to follow the, the picture that uh, was submitted by the teacher but you can change the rock formation and you can put, also put the statue on a different background. Maybe you'd like to see her on a different beach or the statue um, can be maybe in your hometown or uh, drawing a picture at KIS or maybe she's, she's the statue's traveled all around the world and maybe her background is the Eiffel Tower or a place that you want to go. So Henyo's always inspire me to be strong and uh, be courageous so maybe this is one of the adventures that you want to have when you get older and one of the places that you want to travel so maybe the background that you choose is going to reflect that 
Now here are the beautiful Jeju basalt volcan volcanic rocks and as I'm drawing them it's just kind of like I'm stacking them and I like to think that I'm arranging them on the ground and I will go back and add some detail a little bit later. Now here I'm going to draw my horizon line and this is where the water, the ocean water is going to be. And after that I'm going to draw uh, an island in the background and just a simple island sitting right on the top and, you, and then maybe another little bit of land coming out. So we have, there's my mistake. And then I'm going to use a, a thinner marker and I'm just going to draw just a couple buildings on there also. And you can draw anything you'd like to on this island. This would be a great place for you to have your dream home. Maybe you want to draw your mansion back there. You can also use some of the other uh, skills that we've learned from some of our past drawings. Maybe you want to draw uh, some dolphins or a boat in the water in the background. So the water is on the top, but she is obviously standing in the sand. So we are going to use a very light line to indicate where the water is hitting the sand. And this is going to be achieved, uh, that, that distinction is going to be achieved a little bit more with uh, the colors that we use and that we add on. Now the Jeju has two, sometimes the water is dark blue and sometimes it is turquoise and in the picture you can see that there's a nice switch in the colors there so I'm using that line to help me change it up and then I'm going to add just one more rock pile through here. Now the last part that I'm going to draw is going to be the clouds. Now remember clouds, the biggest clouds will be on the top and those will be the ones that are closer to you. As the clouds get farther away they are going to be further down the picture and they will be smaller. Uh, maybe there's something you'd like to also draw in the sky. Maybe you'd like to draw a sun or some birds. Um, you can draw uh, this, I think, is going to be a clear blue sky, but if you want to add a sunset in there, you can also do that. Now, next up is going to be a speeded up version of the coloring. So now I'm going to add my colors and I'm using some uh, very inexpensive crayons from Daiso and I think I got 24 for 3,000 won so it was a great deal and I'm going to use a layering technique. Now I wasn't really pleased with the way that this came out. I felt like I colored the Henyo statue a little bit too dark. Um, so if I could go back and change it, I would have drawn it just a little bit lighter. So that's something to keep in mind. Maybe you want to make sure you don't press down too hard with the black um, or you use a gray. I didn't have gray, so I had to use black. Um, and as I'm going through, I'm going to use a layering technique. So I'm going to add a little bit of shading with my uh, black color here. And then I'm going to layer the different colors on top of it. And that's the way that I have found works best with Color, when coloring with crayon is you start with the darker colors and then you add the, the colors on top and so most of the time all of my drawings will have two or three different colors in each section. Now I can't wait to see what you're going to create. Upload it to Seesaw and send me a message or an email if you have any questions. Thanks for joining me.